Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy from EverythingIDevice.com and this video is going to be a real treat. This was a tweak I was trying to kind of hold off on but I've gotten so many damn comments on it that I'm just going to do the video. And in my opinion, this is one of the most amazing tweaks I've seen for a while. Now that's just my opinion. I absolutely love this tweak. I think it's awesome. It's called Dashboard X. Now this is a paid Cydia tweak. It is from the Mod My Eye repo and it is $1.99. But it is absolutely worth every penny. Now what this tweak allows you to do is add widgets to your springboard and it also comes with a dashboard, hence the name Dashboard X. Let's take a quick look at the dashboard. So there you go, there's the dashboard. Now I'm not going to get into that quite yet. So let's uh, check out the widgets on the springboard. Now this is NC settings. This is normally a widget for Notification Center. It's a free widget from Cydia. I'm not going to tell you all the details. You can figure that out on your own. But here is NC settings on the springboard. I have my power options with NC settings. I can adjust my brightness right from my springboard. Turn the flashlight on. Toggle my Wi-Fi and so on and so forth with all these settings. Now let's take a look at the weather widget, the stock iOS weather widget on my springboard. This is awesome as well. So there you go and obviously you can interact with it. Check out your uh, six day forecast and uh, that's basically it. Just that alone though is awesome I think. And let's play around with Dashboard X. Let me show you guys how this works. Now if you just got the tweak in order to add a widget, just go ahead and put your icons into wiggle mode and on a open spot, let me get rid of these to make this look a little bit more simple. So to delete a widget, just click delete. Now to add a widget, just click on your springboard and hold like that and it comes up with add new widget. So here's a list of installed widgets I have. Now remember this includes third party widgets in the, the notifications section in Cydia. So if you have like BB settings or Nyan Cat or um, I forget the names of them like uh, Wii Contacts or whatever it's called you know you can add all that to your springboard and dashboard. So that's just great. So let's add NC settings. Now I already have this on the first page, so you can add, you know, as whatever pages you want, whatever widgets you want. So this is just really cool. Now to rearrange it, just like a an application, drag it and slide and drop, just like that. Obviously, I showed you how to delete. Just click the X, just like an application, and to exit wiggle mode, same as with the applications, click the home button. Now let's take a look at the dashboard itself. So here is the dashboard. Now remember dashboard, you can access this anywhere on your device, in applications, on your springboard, whatever. So this is really cool too. So if you don't want widgets on your springboard, you can just have the dashboard X itself. Now this is the same concept as the springboard. Just uh, click on one of these and put them into wiggle mode. If you, if you don't have any yet, just click on the canvas here open canvas on the, on the uh, dashboard and add a widget like so. Now two settings here you have the option of interaction and auto center self-explanatory add widget and as you can see I have two NC settings right by each other but this is just for example now that's the dashboard so oh yeah check out this animation guys when you exit the dashboard I think this looks awesome that looks so cool Let's go into the settings for Dashboard X here. So first little section is home screen section, long tap to edit mode on or off, enable widgets. You can just simply delete them from here and adjust them. I would say just add them and do all the stuff that I just showed you from the springboard, it's much easier. Next section is the dashboard, double tap to dismiss, switch there. And this slider here is for the uh, Dashboard background opacity. So if I turn that all the way up, it's going to make it basically a back, a black background. Blah, blah, blah. So there you go. Just adjust the opacity. I like leaving it pretty low so I can see right through it. Here is where you set up your activation method for dashboard. Mine's triple press home button and enable widgets just like up on the home screen section. 
you can delete them from here so if you ever have any problems just go ahead and delete them all and redo it but I honestly have not had no problems with Dashboard X so far and at the very bottom you have more widgets follow the, the developer on Twitter for updates support him in Cydia and that is it and again that is Dashboard X it is a $1.99 from the Mod My I repo worth every penny let me know what you guys think about it in the comments this is Jeremy from everythingidevice.com, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>